You're listening to the Fantastical Electrical Hour, brand new sketch comedy in Radiant Technicolor. <sighs> Yogurt, no. Carrots, no. Cucumber, no. Leftover butter chicken with homemade bread, no. Oh, there's nothing to eat. <laughs> Nothing to eat, eh? Whoa, who are you? Never you mind. Now, answer my question. Nothing to eat, eh? No, there's nothing. I'm starving. I'll bet you are. But I know a way for you to get a tasty, tasty treat. You do? Oh, yeah. The stash. The stash? Mm, the, that's what I said, the stash. Which stash? Mum's stash. Mum's stash? Mum's stash. Mum's? Yeah, uh, alright, enough of that. The stash is real? You bet your bottom dollar, boy. Real than me, anyway. Tell me how to find it. Easy. Hi, sweetie. Can you help me unload the car? I did so much shopping today, I've got a hundred bags in the boot. <laughs> Ask her. What, now? Yes, please. It won't take that long. Do it. Do it now. Let me just help her first. Sorry? The stash! What? Where's your stash? What on earth are you talking about? The stash with all the snacks! I really don't know what you mean. Stash? Snacks? I've never... Tell me where the goods are, woman! You... You were never supposed to know! Hiding sweet, flavoursome treats from your own son! How could you? I'm sorry. This is a matter of urgency. I said where? Oh, they're in the cupboard. Which one? There. The one with the oversized pots and pans that we never use. There's a false panel in the back. Diabolical. I did it for you. Is that so? Or was it for you? The chockies, the bickies, the chippies. Oh, the limited edition Nutella. <laughs> It was all just too good to resist, wasn't it? No, no, you're wrong. They're not good for you. They're so, so bad. I couldn't let them ruin your health. Can't you see? It was all out of your reach. I, I was protecting you. Oh, cry me a river. That's what they all say. Yeah, tell it to the judge. This ain't a pretty sight. We did good, mate. We? Who are you talking to? Yeah. We did good. Yeah. You're listening to the Fantastical Electrical Hour. So, kids, let's talk about jobs. Me, I'm a teacher. <gasps> what do you all want to be, Josie? I'm going to be a dancer. Oh, honey, that's lovely. I mean... You won't make it, and of course, you know you're going to have to dance your little heart out till your foot soles bleed, but lovely nonetheless. Yay. <sighs> Sammy, what about you? I'm going to be a fireman. Oh, yes. Risky business, that one, but I'll accept it. Huzzah. Okay, then. And who else do we have here? Oh, um, Mary Eichel? I want to be a market insurance comparator. Oh, is that right? And how do you plan to do that? Compare the pair? Um... No, that's not right. I don't know what that actually... Uh, I'm, I think it needs meerkats. Like, cos meerkat sounds like market? That's not a job, Mary Eichel. Comparing insurance prices to give the consumers the best deal? You get fireman, builder, teacher, nurse. I've never heard of this insurance of which you speak. I want more jobs I can compute, Maybe please. I could, like, record myself dancing to music without moving my feet and, like, sing along but not really say the words. That'd be a good job. Right? Yes, Josie, that is how you turn an impossible dream into a profession. Thank you, Josie. See, Mary Eichel, Josie gets it. Oh. Welcome back, listeners, to the adventures of me, Constable Wyburn, and my colleague of few words, Constable Smith. Today, we're on the case of the so-called Hammer Killer. Colorblind! Can you believe it, Constable Smith? And my wife tells me she's colorblind. Black and white colorblind. I mean, oh, I know. What nonsense. 
If she was colorblind, how would she know what traffic lights are saying? She'd have been in countless accidents by now. Have you found anything yet? Be careful, Constable Smith. Dumpster diving without a warrant is highly illegal. Oh, shoot, Constable Smith. I think someone has spotted us in the act. Quick, into the dumpster! Quick, Constable Smith. Let's finish searching through this trash so we can get out of here as soon as possible. Now remember, we're on the case of the dreaded hammer killer, named for the fact that he kills people with hammers, not because he kills hammers, as I previously thought. Yeah, I think I saw the dumpster divers over here. Don't worry, Constable Smith. If they look for us inside here, that makes them dumpster divers too. Hypocritical, don't you think? I freaking hate dumpster divers. When I find them, I'm going to show them a piece of my mind. All right, Constable Smith, you got me. I hired a private investigator to spy on my wife. That colorblind thing? I think she just says it to sound interesting at parties. That's why I've got a private investigator to catch her in the lie. You know, get a photo of her correctly interpreting a color. You dumpster divers are dead meat, you hear me? Those dumpsters don't belong to you. Oh, I don't need your judgment, Constable Smith. What would you know about the complexities of married life, hmm? You've been a bachelor as long as I've known you. They must be inside the dumpsters. Are you insane? We can't look in there. Dumpster diving is illegal. None of them will be alive to report us. All right, Constable Smith, you got me. My wife and I are getting a divorce, okay? Now that you've gotten that out of me, perhaps we could do the decent thing and drop the subject altogether. Wait, what's that you've found? A hammer with blood on it. Good heavens, Constable Smith. We have to get this to the lab! This summer. What you're doing, it's never been done before. Get ready for the most gripping drama of the year. Let's face it, Gil, we've reached a dead end. Dead end? There can't be any dead ends. The untold story of the creation of the world's most famous song. A song with dance instructions built into the lyrics? It's impossible. There must be a solution. There is no solution, Gil. What if we put our left hand in? We've already put our left hand in, and we've taken it out. You're suggesting we- That's right. We put our left hand in again. Starring Academy Award-nominated actress Jessica Chastain. If Was Not Was can inspire millions of people to walk the dinosaur, then we can goddamn get them to do the hokey pokey. Dr. Gill, the president's here to see you. And coffee enthusiast George Clooney. It took four years and millions of dollars to determine we put our left hand in and take our left hand out. After all that, after all that we've been through, you're suggesting we put our left hand in again. What then? We shake it. We shake it all. Oh, we shake it all. Where do we shake it all, huh? Up and down, side to side? About. We shake it all about. Dr. Gill, you're a genius. The feel-good movie of the year that proves that sometimes to make an omelet... This dance! It's tearing our family apart! You have to break a few expectations. I need to finish what I started. What then, Gill? When will enough be enough? And the Nobel Peace Prize goes to... This world needs a new time warp, and I'm going to give it to them. Miranda Gill, the Hokey Pokey. A Nobel Prize, Grammy Awards, a Sony record deal to produce the Hokey Pokey 2? Why? What was this all about? That feeling to unite the people. To have the whole world putting their left hand in and putting their left hand out and putting their left hand in and shaking it all about. Then doing the Hokey Pokey and turning around that's what it's all about. In Cinema's Boxing Day. Hello. This is Taffeta Fingers. Welcome to my ASMR series, Chips on My Lips. Last week we delved into the wonders of the chicken grimby. This week we will be listening to the delicate auditory happening of a computer microchip. It is hard to the touch with reasonable flexibility. There is a meaty aroma that was unexpected. Here is me tapping the chip like how you would perform CPR on an infant or a distraught echidema.
I will now scratch the chip like how one would claw their way out of the box that my husband traps our Bhutanese cleaner in each night. So clean. show.